There are a variety of symptoms that could be attributed to arrhythmias that will require evaluation. So arrhythmia symptoms are highly variable. So loss of consciousness is an obvious symptom. I mean, everybody will get very concerned about somebody losing consciousness suddenly. Symptoms like feeling fluttering in the chest or feeling the heart pounding fast for no obvious reason. Um, feeling uh, dizzy, like headed suddenly for a few seconds or a few minutes and then suddenly also goes away. Sudden onset of shortness of breath with pounding in the chest without an explanation. Those are the typical arrhythmia related symptoms. The symptoms are not going to go away. So my advice to patients would be, well, if they have one bad day and then everything goes back to normal, most likely that is not a cardiac problem. But if the symptoms are persistent, if they remain after days or weeks, well, there's something going on, and that will need evaluation by either a general practitioner, family doctor, or the medical cardiologist to do an initial evaluation. Most of the referrals we get in the arrhythmia clinic or in the electrophysiology clinic actually come from either the primary care physicians or the actual cardiologist, so the general cardiologist. Uh, they usually evaluate the patient's symptoms first. If any of those are abnormal and the symptoms seem to correlate with those findings, then they come see us. Typically, the process starts with uh, seeing the patient in the office and evaluating the symptoms. And then if the patient's symptom sounds like are arrhythmia related or maybe arrhythmia related, we typically do what we call a cardiac monitor. It's a special type of monitor which looks like a patch that the patient puts on his her chest and takes home. And the goal will be to wait until the patient has symptoms and see if there is a, an arrhythmia causing the problem. The other way to do it is doing an implantable monitor. It is like a small microchip that is inserted underneath the skin that has battery to go for about three years. And essentially the goal of that implantable monitor is to wait until the patient has symptoms and see what the heart is doing at the time of the symptoms. And if it is an arrhythmia presence, then we bring the patient for either further testing or treatment. Let's say that we do find that the patient has a clinically relevant arrhythmia, and we proceed with therapy. We can try medications always, of course or the more advanced therapies like catheter ablation or cardiac rhythm devices like pacemakers or defibrillators.